The FGM-148 Javelin is an American-made portable anti-tank missile fielded since 1996 to replace the M47 Dragon anti-tank missile in U.S. service. Its fire and forget design uses automatic infrared guidance that allows the user to seek cover immediately after launch, as opposed to wire-guided systems, like the Dragon, which require the user to guide the weapon throughout the engagement. The Javelin's heat warhead is capable of defeating modern tanks by hitting them from above, where their armor is thinnest, see top attack, and is also useful against fortifications in a direct attack flight. Still, the infrared-guided Javelin has proven itself in combat in Iraq, Afghanistan, and Syria and has reliable shtick that should work on virtually any tank out there, it hits them on the weak top armor. The Javelin is so effective that who the United States sells or gives Javelins to has become a political issue on more than one occasion. Within the US military, the Javelin also looks set to transition from being purely an infantry system to being mounted on vehicles. The Javelin doesn't look as sleek and deadly as its name would have you think, it resembles a clunky dumbbell slightly over 1 meter in length. Fortunately, you don't need good looks to blow up a tank. After launch, a Javelin shoots forward horizontally for a second before its rocket motor ignites and it climbs up 150 meters into the air, known as a curveball shot. It's quite a sight, as you can see in this video. The Javelin can also be fired in direct attack mode, useful for hitting targets that are too close for the top attack, or that benefit from top cover, like a bunker or cave entrance. The direct fire mode could also be effective against low-flying helicopters. One of the Javelin's few limitations is its range, 2.5 kilometers. Though adequate for most combat situations, Older missiles like the Tow or Cornet boast ranges of 5 kilometers or more. Javelins were used to destroy Russian tanks during the 2022 Russian invasion of Ukraine. According to the Ukrainian land forces, the engagement occurred near the town of Lukiv, where a column of 15 Russian T-72 tanks was reportedly destroyed. An image dubbed Saint Javelin, which shows Mary Magdalene holding a javelin launcher in the style of an Eastern Orthodox Church painting, gained attraction in social media and soon became a symbol of the Ukrainian resistance against the Russian invasion.